welcome back to another Blender tutorial. I'll turn my screen pass keys on. Um, in this tutorial, we're just going to go over a very important modifier. This should be a short one. Um, subsurf. Now, subsurf is important because it's it's sort of like a sculpting tool. I use it as a sculpting tool anyway, but it can be kind of confusing. Now, to put a modifier on an object, you just select the object. Head over here, press, go on the wrench. You know, if you want to modify uh, something, you have to open it with the wrench. I don't know, something. Um, and it's right here. And you press it, and it changes your, your cube completely. What I think it does is um, it's sort of like subdivide, but it also like subdivides the distance between vertices. So what happens is it ends up shrinking your uh, your object. But if you were to go into edit mode, you'll see that it still is a square. Until you have applied this, that shape is not happening in edit mode. Now you can get the mesh in edit mode by clicking this little triangular thing here, and then you can edit it as if you had applied it. I like to keep it off. And then you can do cool stuff like, let me turn this up one more level so that it looks like a sphere. Uh, so see, I move my center and I'm kind of anal. Now look at this. You see how I'm having trouble zooming in and zooming out? This will happen to you probably constantly. It is because I am in perspective mode. If I press five, actually if I press, yeah, if I press five, now when I zoom in and out, it's normal again. Okay, so just a little tip there. Um, I like to keep this off. And then you can make this, you can make cool shapes, like you can really get a feel for what Subsurf does and what the benefits of using it are. All right, now, if you have this problem where you're seeing that I am not rotating around my object, you just press the period key. That will center you again, and now we're all good again. Okay, these are annoyances that will bug you for years if you don't learn them now. Anyway, control R to add a loop cut. And you can see what we're doing here, what the effect it's having on the mesh. Now we'll go back to object mode. You see that it's real, it's like softened. It's like a bevel. You add smooth and let's render it real quick. Look at that. So much nicer than a regular cube. Looks a lot more professional-like. Now, you add more loop cuts, and it will just, it'll get more, red, like a resolution to it. You know? And then you can also do cool stuff with this, like just create creative and move that along Z. And look at the effect that it has. Now, it's going to be different here than it is here because there is one edge here, and three edges here. So it's going to hold it to a tighter angle or edge right here than it will over here, which is kind of smoothed over. Okay. Um, in order to fix that, you just put a push control R and then you start bringing this stuff out like that. Control R here. Now, now it looks pretty much the same with that. Um, that's all you do with subsurf. At first, it can be kind of confusing what's happening with your mesh, but I highly recommend that you do not keep this on. Yeah, I mean, it makes for a cool looking, you know, way to edit, but uh, I like keeping it off. It makes my stuff look cool. It makes it feel like you're kind of sculpting it and whatnot. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just keep this over here simple. I'm not really sure what simple does. Anyway, um, view is how many subdivisions you're actually seeing. The more numbers, the more it's subdividing the mesh. But you can only go, you go, uh, it uses more processor the higher this number is. Uh, now, render is how much it will render. See, if I turn this up to five, now the view is only a Let's turn it on zero. That's what it looks like in edit mode. Now I press F12 
and it looks beautiful, you know? So you can see the benefits of using this. Every, but these do make high poly, um, high poly uh, mesh. I mean, there's lots of vertices and lots of faces and stuff. Look at this, 85,000. But when I exit out of render, we only have two, we only have uh, 80. So, I mean, I always have this on and it makes for fast editing and better results at the end. Uh, that's about it. Uh, leave your comments at the bottom. Tell me how I can make these better. Starting out, and I really kind of shit at it. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.